hi guys welcome back to my channel i is back with another video what's up what's good what's happening how have you guys been how um how is your january how is your february uh, coming along because i think i'll post it this video february beginning of february so anyway um i'm so happy you guys i missed you guys so much i missed you guys so much and i'm back at it with a story times you guys it has been a while since this did a story times and i just felt like getting cute for this one so yeah yeah my makeup is on fleek I feel amazing but my wig looks kind of crazy so can we just ignore that in, in case you see any mishaps in this video so you guys today i want to tell you a story times um about how i left in a boys school i was left in a boys school at a function back in high school it was it's it's a long story it's a long story <laughs> anyway um before i get into it um like comment share and hit the subscribe button button and the notification bells button ring it so you get notified every time i post i mean it's this got tea okay so um yeah i think let me just start so I actually wrote notes in my notebook so i'm gonna refer to that um it was during this time of music festivals back in high school and um sis was confident since was sis was so confident you guys have no idea i was confident um i was in form one no but in form one yeah i think i was in form one or form two there about so um I joined the music festivals and i was performing a solo and a chorus so we were handed the scripts the third and the third and went to practice yeah each and every day then the it was time now for the music festivals the events to actually happen so sis here was i am literally i think if you if you know me um like in person i'm not I feel like I'm antisocial, like I'm more introverted because like I don't even have a lot of friends. I I just like to keep to myself. I'm that kind of person. So yeah. I had trouble with making friends because when I was younger we used to move a lot. So there was no point of making friends and leaving friends. So I just I, I just didn't even try. I, I didn't even try. So anyway, um what had happened was um, so it was like um, that morning to the music festivals. Uh, people were so excited. The ones were performing, just that and that, all the excitement in the school. So um, we went for the music festivals and we performed the choral, the choral verse first. The choral, a choral verse is like, what was it, like a spoken word, but you see it like 12 of you. Yeah. So we performed the choral verse like in the morning. By 9, 10, 10, 9, 10-ish, we were done. Then my uh, solo verse came much later during the day. So, so I performed my solo verse at around 2-ish. And I went back to the bus because after performing, you can either interact with other students or go back to the bus to just chill. So, um, I went to the bus, then... Um, I was chilling in the bus and there are like a lot of people from a lot of schools and me being antisocial I was not having that so I left and went to buy some snacks okay because um, when you go to like okay, uh, to the festivals they have like a lot of vendors who vend either like things like mandazis, sodas and in boarding school you don't get a lot of that especially our school we were not allowed to carry snacks we are only allowed no, but they were actually not even allowed to carry sugar it was just spreads and it was standardized for all students so that we could have like a form of balance between um among all the students so that everyone feels equal if you get what i'm trying to say our school had that system of equalizing us which i think was really good if in my opinion but anyway um i was going to buy snacks um i just had someone call my name and back then I was not known as Cage, so we're just gonna assume he called me Cage, okay? So this guy, it was a guy, it was a, a male, yeah? So he was shouting my name and he called my name 
like twice or thrice they turned then boom it was someone so familiar you know like the way you look at someone and you're like oh you're familiar like where have we met you're trying to discern where you've met then i realized this guy okay i'm gonna say his real name actually his real name is Mina. we were in class five together when i used to live at a place called Riru. if you're not in kenya there is a place called Riru in kenya so yeah when i used to live at Riru with my fam in class five or six that was when we met and I, I didn't stay long in that school because i remember as i told you we kept moving a lot for some reason which i did not understand till so me and mine were talking we were catching up like um because i remember i stayed in that school for a year then we moved again so we were catching up um this time i was i think i was informed too i was informed too i'm um, okay now i'm sure i was informed too so um like it was so crazy that he actually remembered me like i don't think i remember someone how someone looks when they are older like really much older but it's whatever so we were talking um he was trying to tell me stuff about what the other, our other classmates we were, we were just basically catching up on what happened to the, our other classmates they started in the third we were king and stuff so yeah we were just talking then he he um he happened to mention that that is their school and he was like can i give you a tour of our school and my dumbass said yes remember i had left other people in the bus other people um talking to other people but i i went ahead to go for this school tour alone without any other schoolmate of mine which is a really dumb decision so walking talking catching up this that and the third then we went to their classroom then we were just then minute then i was like hey, it's uh, it's it's like it was like five six there about then i decided uh, hey let me go let me let me go and check if our bus is still there <laughs> sis sis i was in for a surprise my friend i i was walking out of his classroom then going to where we, i had left the bus in the field so boom i ran into someone and he he sees my uniform and he's like Eh, Niaji, I'm your boy. Eh, are you from this in this school, X Y Z school? Because that, that's what well, that, that's what we're gonna call it. Because I'm not gonna mention my former school. Because nah. So are you from X Y Z school? I'm like yes. And he's like, your bus left ten or fifteen minutes ago. And I'm like, what? Damn. Damn. Ushai skia machozi. Any, any your tear ducts are just full of tears because this is trouble i was literally dead ass in a lot of trouble first of all because the bus left 15 minutes ago they didn't count the number of people they came with to the music festival so that is how i must have been forgotten i was in deep shit period so i just stood there wondering what i was gonna do because damn this was a lot to handle all at one time so confused i went and talked to a teacher and told her i had been left by the bus the worst part is in um where the music festivals were being held right there was there was okay all the girls school has all the girls schools had left i was the only girl in the premises which was also was also a problem so this teacher like really scolded me like for a good as five minutes and she was like how are you left kwani you don't have any friends what were you doing first of all why would you be left in a boys school like she was just scolding me damn it, it, it was it was the worst scolding of my life period so um after getting mad like for a whole five minutes she went and took me to like the chairman of the music festival and let me tell you this is where things got worse this is where things got worse because let me tell you what happened so you know the music festival's chairman called our principal 
Makosa, Makosa, my friend, Makosa. Now the principal knows. Number two, principal asked for my name, my admission number, so I knew. In a suspension. <laughs> suspension or a G. Because our principal was not playing. She was not playing. Mrs. XYZ, damn, she, she don't play. So, um, now, um, the solution was um, the, the chairman of the music festivals, who was also a teacher, um, was going along the same direction that our school was. Mind you, I, which I didn't tell you, I was supposed to tell you this before. Um, that where the music festivals were held, it was like a few, like two or three counties away from our school. So, you know, that is the kind of trouble I was in, basically. So, um, he, he gave me a ride in his car because he was coming on the way to our school. So he was going to drop me before he gets to his, wherever he was going, his destination, that is. So, um, drove, drove me all the way to point, let's call it point B, where he dropped me, where the school bus picked me up, okay? Dropped me to point B, um, the school bus picked me up. <laughs> it was, I kid you not, it was 11 at night. I was in deep trouble because I, th I think sc school buses were not allowed to be outside school premises past seven. I don't know. I think I think so. But anyway, I got in the bus and everyone in the, in the bus was making a fuss of it, saying things like, "Hey, Bazu, how can you be left in the boys school?" Hey, everyone was just. Like gangster, gangster, this, that, and the third. But I knew in my head, in my heart, you can take shit. Mind you, I told you in my previous video, um, in, our, in my high school video, strike, whatever, I told you I was a sponsored student. So I could not afford into, to get in this kind of trouble. Like, on whatever circumstances. Everyone was gassing me up. Everyone was making a fuss. Then we got to school. It was a Saturday. There was entertainment in our school. So, we were dropped and I went to my classroom and within like 10 minutes, the whole school knew that, you know what, Cage is a gangster, she was left, she's a gangster, this, that, and the third, everyone was making a fuss, like, like, they was, they were really gassing me up for no good reason, <laughs> absolutely no good reason. Um, so everyone was just praising my name like it was just awkward students are just awkward people i think it, okay the following day was a sunday definitely and i don't know why we went for a parade that day i don't know but we assembled on the play uh, on the parade ground and we had parade and this was the most embarrassing moment in my high school life and don't tell anyone don't tell anyone but i already told the whole world so um i was asked to go um in front of the entire school and kneel embarrassment embarrassment one one damn that was the worst day of my life i, I was paraded so everyone was told that i was left in a boys school people made a fuss it was the, the only thing i remember till this day is the embarrassment anyway um just so embarrassing <laughs> And I was given punishment Yamokam Zima. Good thing I did not go for a suspension. I was not given a suspension. But I was given a punishment. Oh my god, high school punishments were the worst. <laughs> I don't know what was going on with those teachers. Like, were they okay? How much was their salaries? I don't know. I don't know. Because high school has the most ridiculous announcements. No, pu punishment. Deadass. Especially Kenyan high schools. I don't know if it's the same like in other countries, but in Kenya, we have the most ridiculous uh, punishments in high schools. Like someone can literally tell you to uproot an entire, um, like, you know, the way like a tree can be chopped off and the roots remain on the ground. In Kenya, they can actually tell you to up uproot those roots. <sighs> Why? I don't get it. I don't, I don't get Kenyan high schools, but it's okay. So I was told to wash like the, all of the corridors 
in my um, um, in my game skates and rubber shoes. <laughs> Let me tell you guys, I spent that day looking like a school worker. Literally, I, I washed the geography room. <laughs> I washed all the all the verandas, um, and. The, let me tell you what but let me tell you the situation in the geography room in the geography room there was sawdust there was cooking fat mixed all together for some reason because the scouts had just come back from their scouting whatever then they poured um undiluted detergent in the geography room which was so huge so you can just imagine the amount of work i had to do so um then let me there was let me tell you even the last part right so after I, I i collected logs i collected logs i washed the verandas washed the geography room so by evening sis was dead ass tired i was so beat i was so beat i was so tired so we we still had preps we, we had preps like from from seven supper was six um preps was from 6 30 6 45 after prayers to around 10 in the a.m then you go to sleep then you wake up at 4 or 5 a.m whatever you decide so we had preps and this, uh, and during these preps we had like teachers coming to to go to the classes and check what you guys are doing if you're being productive or you're just making noise so i was tired i was tired after i did all of that i went to the dorms during supper time and i had a shower then I went back to class. So it was a Sunday. I was in my game. I, I, I was in my other games kids, and I was tired. So you remember, like not just like when you you in high school and people like you have preps and you're tired or you just want to sleep. Because let me tell you, not only one are like these lockers, by the way. Lockers, I don't know. Sing is a locker, but even when I slap, it slaps some other way. I don't know. I don't know why. So I was tired. So I was seated and I dead ass asleep. So there is this teacher. Um, we're gonna call him. I can't call it a male teacher class. We're gonna call that teacher um, socks. So Mr. Socks came the first round to check what other people are doing and going, like if you have a question, you know. So um, he came and found me asleep for the first time. And. I got in trouble was asked to leave wash my face and come back which i did then i went back to sleep uh, and it, that was that was the day i was the most tired i guess in my life for some reason but we don't know that yet because i'm still alive so anyway he literally woke me up three times and he just left me <laughs> because i was so tired then <sighs> it wasn't even funny anymore like it wasn't funny it was just sad because people are making fun of it making me look like i'm a gangster then at the end of the day i did a lot i did a lot <laughs> as punishment and simply because of a bigger story anyway um that was the story of how i was left in a boys school at a function so thank you for watching this video <laughs> if you like this video um like comment share and subscribe tell a friend tell a friend to subscribe to my channel because it really supports my channel when you subscribe so as i was saying um yeah if you like this kind of video definitely do give me a thumbs up um leave me a comment in the comment section and subscribe tell a friend tell my tell a friend to subscribe to my channel for this and more content watch other videos in my channel um shop my lashes because this is value for your money you can literally wear this lashes 25 times yeah follow me on instagram to purchase lashes yeah and i will see you next time same place same time peace kids loves you bye